Dear friends and colleagues, thank you for joining us today for the Global Landscapes Forum, the investment case. One of the biggest gaps in the whole development discourse is how do we find the finance that needs to be invested in fair and equitable ways to achieve all the, all the things we need to achieve on the ground. How do we get this large bulk of money that's available looking for a return to trickle down into the people to whom it affects, that's the, the, small, the small holders? Today there is about $500 billion of forest risk commodities value produced every year. Transforming those commodities to deforestation free commodities is actually a big transformation. There is a role for uh, the private sector in that. If we really want to be serious about addressing climate change and we really want to be serious about mitigating the risks and supporting communities build their resilience, we have to be doing it through the land and forestry. <laughs> Getting small farmers to And it's going to open up buying opportunities. So our second pitch, uh, it will present the uh, launch of a new fund. So David, why should we turn from landscapes into seascapes? Oliver, why should we invest in cocoa in the Dominican Republic? Well, I think it's, it's been a great forum and I think what's, what's really positive about it is they've got a lot of people from different angles looking at problems. And so you put the problem on the table and you've got a lot of different people giving a lot of insight and coming up with some really interesting solutions. That's the philosophy of the Global Landscapes Forum, to bridge academic disciplines, expert communities and economic sectors and create a forum where everybody talks to everybody and cross the traditional boundaries and innovate. My hope is, and I've seen it already taking place, that uh, I'll, be, I'll find some uh, uh, partnerships, a lot of uh, people have come forward to say, let's talk. This would have been impossible 10 years ago when I was working, let's say, in Liberia on, on forest 10 years ago. We were trying to do partnership, we were trying to do initiative, we, were, we had the public sector, we have NGOs, but we didn't really have a private sector. But we've uh, noticed, uh, all of us, a very important change, a paradigm shift in how the private sector has been contributing to the concrete, tangible solution to the climate change challenges. Thanks to everyone, everyone here.